It's kind of sad when your own sister doesn't subscribe to you on YouTube. She joins YouTube, yay! She doesn't subscribe to you though because your videos are boring. Or maybe it's just your videos are boring. <sighs> so I had this great idea. I was going to actually, you know, do a math video that has to do with what she's studying right now. So she'd have to subscribe because now I'm actually doing stuff that can help her. But guess what? I don't really want to do calculus, especially not integration by parts because I'm kind of rusty at it, even though I had to do it all last semester. Um, so instead I'm going to continue doing my Boolean algebra. I did a search on YouTube and there's absolutely no Boolean algebra on the whole website. Like it's like I search Boolean algebra and you get one video by me. So I'm going to do a few more videos. I mean, if there's nothing on YouTube. So today we're going to be doing um, another lesson in Boolean Algebra. I'm not even entirely sure what it's going to be yet. I'm going to do my lesson plan now. This one video I was going to create today has turned into a whole bunch of videos I'm going to have to create. This video is going to be talking about binary numbers. Decimal numbers, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. All right? That is base 10, meaning that it uses 10 digits. So, for example, I'm just going to create three sort of like pockets there uh, to represent a three digit number. I think everyone here knows that in base 10, 0, 0, 001 is equal to 1. Uh, because this is a weight of 1, this has a weight of 10, and this has a weight of 100. So, if we put a 2 here, we put a 1 here, and we put a 1 here, well, uh, I'm obviously we can both, all, we can all see that this is 211, but when you come to base system, like, uh, bases that aren't value 10, it's not easy to see what that number is just by looking at it. So what you actually have to do is you have to say, okay, so we have 2 in a 100 place value. So we 